We got a treat today, don't we? Hopefully. The water has cleared up. We've been getting torrential downpours for way too long. They're gonna be clear. We're gonna see some biggins swimming around. Trick one or two of them. Have a good day. There could be snakes in here. flip over into a creek? I'm not gonna drown. You're not gonna drown? Nope. Yeah, unless the windows don't open. My life jacket will go off. Then you're just gonna float to the top of the truck. <laughs> See, look, that creek right there, I'll prepare in case we go in it. Oh, well, what about me? Hey, you might have to stand up. What you getting into? We got into the hammer hole. This is where they live at over here. Biggins. Big largemouth. Like probably the biggest largemouth around me live in here. Like if I think I'm gonna catch an eight pounder anywhere, they're probably here. Look how pretty he is. What's that, Kyle? I don't know. That is a pretty fish. He is, he's very pretty. Right there, that's in some good light. Oh my gosh. I've never seen one orange like that. I think he's a, I don't know what he's called. A sunfish? He definitely a sunfish. I just don't know exactly the kind. Not an expert on it. Kyle's trying to make it into an illegal backwater. Illegal? I'm not gonna jump over any roads. Attempting. Oh yeah. Kyle's got his life jacket on. Safety first. He don't, he don't want to drown. So this area where we're fishing used to actually be one of the best places for largemouth fishing in the area around here. And it was like a small stretch. Quarter of a mile, half a mile stretch that was phenomenal. Multiple three pounders in, in, a, in a day. Like somebody come in here and catch eight or ten over three, have a couple fives. I've caught eights. You know, in the last few years, I've caught a couple of sixes or sevens in here, but you can just tell it's not the same as it used to be. And what happened was that meal used to pump water out from under the bottom. I guess they used it to cool things inside the meal or whatever, but it used to have a lot of current flow almost every single day. And it kept this place really, really deep. There was isolated rocks and then it kept all that silt blown out because all that current just came through and washed out. And you have small creeks like beside the mill and another small creek down. And those would dump in silt every single spring when we got floods and stuff, they would dump in silt. But that mill would just blow it all back out whenever they started generating consistently in the summer and stuff like that. So it stayed really, really deep in here and also a lot of really good habitat. And ever since they stopped using that mill, it's just progressively got worse and worse and worse because it keeps getting shallower and shallower and shallower. And now it's almost an entire sandbar from one side to the other. So really disheartening to see what's happened to this place. But it's kind of been happening slowly for years and years and years. So I knew it was coming. And now I'd say it's shallower and worse than I've ever seen. So this place might be done, you know, which is very unfortunate. I got him. Pretty little. That's a shoal bass? Yep. That's pretty. Yep, he's beautiful. Fat. He got one. Yeah, he got one. Little shoal bass. Little baby one. Catching a lot of micros today. I haven't caught any good ones. What's the update? The update is we ain't catch them very good, you know? We've, you know, this is a cool place to fish anyways. Fished a lot of different stuff already today. Two arms of this place left that, you know, 
we, we can go hit. Both of them have usually a good population of bass and largemouth spots and shell bass. But we're gonna go to one that I don't go to as often because it gets so much fishing pressure. But we're gonna ride up there and fish around, hopefully catch some. You know, a lot of these fish, I'm not really 100% dialed in on the migration of the shoal bass. I really, I just don't know, but we'll see if we can't collide with them here in a minute. So we said in this video we were gonna answer some questions. I have a question. All right. Um, what is the difference between the AMZ and X plasma, and why would you choose one over the other? So the AMZ and the X plasma, they're both, you know, a really smooth braid. You know, naturally, they're both eight strand, really smooth. The difference with the X plasma is it actually has a plasma coating on top of it. That's going to do a couple things. Number one, it's going to make it a lot more abrasion resistant. It's going to make it a lot, you know, stand up to cover a lot more. It's going to make it a little bit thicker diameter braid because it puts that coating on top of it. But the AMZ is also eight strand braid, really, really smooth, but it does not have a coating on it. So, a couple give and takes for those. The AMZ is going to fade a little bit faster. It's going to not have quite the um, abrasion resistance, but it's going to cast a whole lot smoother, especially whenever it's fresh. The, the uh, X-Plasma seems to have like a break-in period. It's super strong. It's the braid I use for punching, flipping, all that type of stuff. Frogging sometimes and mats and stuff, but it just doesn't cast that great when it's brand new because of that coating on it. So, it seems to have a break-in period, you know, after you fish with it for a week or two. It really starts to cast really, really well. So if you're going to use a braid all year, maybe the X-Plasma is the best braid to use for an entire season. But for me, I change line a lot, and I like for it to be the best casting that it could possibly be when it's brand new, because I change line a lot right before the tournament starts. So I don't want to be out there used to throwing something that casts really well, take it all, put some new stuff on it, it's got like a break-in period to it. So. I, I like the AMZ because of how well it casts, how smooth it is. It's also really, really strong. But if you're flipping around super heavy cover, metal dock, stuff like that, you know, a lot of times that coating really helps. And when is it coming out? iCast? It'll be released at iCast, yeah. What is that, July 11th? Yep. So it should be for sale right around then, actually. But y'all are getting it early because somebody's going to win the giveaway and, you know, I guess we're going to do that later today also and figure out who won, five people, and they'll have the AMZ before they can even buy it. They are strong. They're the strongest fish I've ever caught. It's probably because they swim in the yep. That drag, that drag is legit. Look at him, dude. He's just so strong. Beautiful fish. I can't do it with him. Look at that thing. Mm. Oh my gosh. That was over four. That was close to five probably. Mm-hmm. He's at least four and a half. I mean, he's probably a five. We'll call him. We'll call him a four and a half. That's a big one, then. Beautiful fish. Them things are so pretty. What do you figure out? They're spawning. Now, I hadn't been able to see them all day because I've been just fishing around. Water's not that clear. Let me grab the trolling before I hit these rocks. The water's clear, but it's not like super clear for, for this place. And I just got up there and I saw one this morning that I got to bite and I, I went back to the same spot 
And by God, there was a good one laying there. And I was like, gosh. So I turned around, made a circle. I see the same spot. I'm like, I bet it's on bed. So I pitch over there. And I'm throwing it like a four pounder. And I pitch over there and a two and a half comes out and eats it. Well, I, I don't hook him. So I went right to the other side and pinched in the same exact type of spot. I've never fished for him on bed before. And uh, let it sink, a big one ate it. So definitely spawned. All right, guys, we have completed the AMZ Sunline Braid giveaway. That's we got so many comments. We did get a bunch of comments. Like over 600 comments. Okay, well, 600 people have entered into this. So I appreciate y'all commenting. That helps all the time on Instagram. Facebook, YouTube, everything, the comments, the likes, all that stuff really, really helps. I know that's why y'all hear all, everybody that posts on social media, y'all hear them say it so, so much. So Hunter has put the comments into a randomizer and randomly picking five people. So tell them what they need to do if they win. If you do win, we need your name, address, email, and phone number. And direct message me that on Instagram. That would be the best place for you to get in touch with me. If you do not have an Instagram and you comment on YouTube, well, message me on Facebook. But for the most part, Instagram will be the, by far the easiest way to, to do it. And it's going to ship directly from Sunline to you. So, who we got first? Okay, the first three winners are from Instagram. And the very first one is Ryan Ivers Fishing. Ryan Ivers Fishing. So, send me a direct message. You get some AMZ. The second one is I Own Sports. I Own Sports. Okay. Instagram. Instagram. So, the AMZ is an eight-strand braided line. Super smooth. That's kind of what is different about this than some other types of braid. It's very, very smooth. Eight-strand cast. Super, super well. The Axe Plasma is an eight-strand, but it has a plasma coating on it. doesn't cast quite as well, but it still casts really, really well. So, who we got next? The next one is Instagram also, and it's the real underscore Chris Ram. The real underscore Chris Ram. Send me a message. And those are all the Instagram ones. So now two from YouTube is Blake Bailey Fishing. Blake Bailey Fishing. So you won. If you can, go over to Instagram and message me. And then who else? Fisher Ryan. Fisher Ryan from YouTube also. So go send me a message on Instagram. So I appreciate everybody commenting. Like I said, you know, the guys who got this, whenever you get the braid in, leave me a comment. Let me know if you like it, dislike it, if you had any problems with it. I've had no problems with it at all. So I think everybody's going to love it. But just let me know the feedback on it if you did win. So appreciate everybody commenting. We appreciate it. Also, we'll... on this video, if you have any questions about any type of Sunline product, leave it below and we will answer it in the next video. So the next video is going to be a lot of questions. Or it could just be, I don't know. Yeah. Whoever has questions about someone. Yep. Any of the products, stuff like that, just leave me a comment. I'll get around to them. I used to get around to them more, actually. Or if it's not someone, it could be any sponsor product. Yeah. So. We'll talk about it. All right, guys. I appreciate it. We'll see y'all in the next one. And we've been talking about comments for a while, so just go down there and comment on this one also and leave a like. And if you're not subscribed, which over half the people that watch the videos are not subscribed, and I get that because a lot of people watch on TV now. It's very difficult to subscribe on a TV unless you do it on your phone and then it pops up. But it, anyways, if you have the ability to subscribe, let's do it. So, might appreciate as well. it. Yeah, you might as well. It's free. Don't cost anything. Appreciate it.